Are you charging your phone? Hey guys, if there's like black parts where like blacks out the screen, that happened through rendering process. So I'm sorry, that's not gonna be in your videos. Uh, sorry about that. Enjoy the video. Yo, what's up, guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to edit like LMGK or like CAR, Metro, Andretta, people like that. Uh, so first, get your replay files in here. So I just have a couple replay files. You can delete the audio on these. You don't need the audio. Just control U and then delete the bottom half, which is the audio. Find where you want it to start. I do not want the number, so I'm gonna find right there. Then you're gonna, I messed up. You gotta slice it off, delete it. So the first step to this is to add. Diamond, diamond, diamond on my There you go, just clip that, bam. Okay, so first we're gonna add velocity. Diamond. So we're gonna put it right there. Come over here, delete that. Perfect, I'm just gonna find all the beats. So the next one's right here. We're gonna clip it right there, bam, at our next scene. We're gonna go with this one, bam, control U, delete the audio. It's pretty simple. Delete, delete, there you go. So that should be right here. Bam. Right there should be good. I'm trying to make this video fast, but kind of hard. Here we go. All you need to do is find all the beats to your music. go right it doesn't have to be perfectly timed just make sure this right on the beat there you go okay so we're done with the putting the beats in now we just have to do velocity that's how it works you need to click your right click on it velocity bring this up i would go about 20 seconds in which would be right about here then we're gonna slice this not slice it but at a point, just gonna double tap, bring down the 50%. And then we're gonna do the same exact thing for 20 seconds in. So that would be right there. At velocity, maximum velocity, this should be 50%. There you go. Now, do the rest with all these clips, and I'll be right back when I'm done. Okay, so now that the replays are done, I can show you them. Here they are. There we go. And now the second thing for the beginning is the text. So with the text, all you have to do is you have to go to media generators, type in legacy text. You could use normal text, you gotta let it load. You could use normal text, but legacy text is a little bit more reliable, it doesn't crash as much. So you grab your legacy text, you bring it down, you can put it at anyone you want, usually I put it right above it. 
right above the files. I got my own preset. I can show you guys this preset. Hold up. I'll make it larger so you guys can see it better. Here we go. Here's my preset. So Dimbo, Metallic, 72. Uh, don't really worry about that. This right here. This is my shadow. Copy that. Um, and so I'm gonna do highlights nine because that's, that's my newest one. See, it's right there. So we're gonna put that right there, and then we're gonna do our next text. I'm gonna copy that, put it over here. This now, this is gonna be the edited by SpazRFN or whatever your YouTube name is. So, how I'm gonna do this is I'm gonna type in edited by. I'm gonna go down one and I'm gonna type in spazer fn. I'm gonna move this over maybe maybe that much. You guys can move it as much as you want. And then I'm going to go to project media. I'm gonna go where is it? I need to find it. It's somewhere over here. I think this is it. This might be it. Yep, this is it. So it's this little YouTube logo. And to crop it down into that size, you click the little crop button right here. And then you have to zoom this out to make it tinier. Just like that. Move it over. A little bit tinier. Bam. Okay, that looks good. Right. There. I if you want to put your Twitter, your Instagram logo, whatever you want, you could do that. Usually I do my YouTube because people tend to like try to steal my videos, so I just put my YouTube. Okay, so then our next text is going to be enjoy or whatever you want it to be. It could be subscriber for new, anything you want. But I'm gonna do enjoy, which is pretty simple. Just type in enjoy, just like that. You could put an exclamation mark if you want, whatever you want. And that's all we have to do. Now we have to do the transitions for the text. And with the transitions, usually what I do is I go and you fade in. And you put each one of these to 15 fade in and 15 fade out. You'll see why in a little bit. Just like this, 15. Do the same thing with your logo. 15. 15. 15, oh, no wrong way. So you'll see why in a second here. Just fade these all in 15. Okay, now I'm done. So the next thing you want to do is grab, go to your transitions, little transition button here, and you want to go to spin. And add spin right where the blue line is or just inside of this little fade box. Add that in. That's all good. I have to change the settings and then put this in. Make it right to left. So it might be lacky up here since it's a preview mode, but something like that. Just like that. Now, if you want the text to swivel, I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. But first, let's do our animations. Now you can get barn door. Where is it? It's right here. You can add that to that one. Or something I do is I add barn door to the end, which I will put right here. And then I would go grab the out one where it brings it out. Put it right there. So that should, should look something like this. Like that. Just like that. And then for these middle ones, I use, where is it? It's gradient wipe. And then I use turbulent noise. Which is just like a really cool, like, I don't know, like fade in type thing. You put on all of these turbulent noise. Bam, so it should look something like this. Just like that. Okay, so next you want to add your obviously your swivel because look, it's just stiff text right there. So with the swivel, all you have to do is add a displacement displacement map. Make sure it's at least one. Wait, let me drag it in if I can. One, what do you call it? Layer or track above everything else. You don't need the audio for this. So you control U, delete that. 
Okay, there we go. Put it right there. Delete this because this is just some audio track. Put it above, at least one above each one of these. We're going to go over. And it's a little bit too fast, but I'll show you what to do. So you want to click this little, so first you want to click edit visible button set right here on the little three dots. It clicks show all so you can see all these buttons. Then you see this little button right here. You click that, you go custom. This, not that, you click where's displacement map. Vegas displacement map, add, okay. Now, usually what most people do is 002 or 002. Just type that in. And there you go. But you see how it's like swimming everything else? So what you want to do is you want to click this little lock button. Or whatever you want to call it. And just keep clicking that until it makes this kind of pyramid formation. Don't do it on the scenes though. It's going to look really bad. Just do it on the text and all these other tracks. So it looks something like this. See how it swivels? Now I don't, I don't want it to swivel that fast. So what I'm doing is I'm click control. Hold control and stretch it out. This makes it slower. This makes it faster. So I'm going to make it slower. Just like that. And that should make it go a little bit slower. I'm going to bring it up a little bit. That was good. Okay. Yep. So that should be the end for the intro. And now we can move on to the, what do you call it, clips. So we're going to grab our first clip. We're going to put it in right on the same box or track as the replays. And we're going to find where our gunshot is. First, you want to click, if you use stretch, you click properties. Maintain aspect ratio. And find your gunshot wherever you're shooting the guy here. Let me find it. Right. I'm scrolling a little bit. Usually, what I do is I go right before you see the little red pellets. So, right there. Bam. And you're going to find your beat drop wherever you want to put the clip to shoot. So that's right there. So that's good. We're gonna bring this over here, and that should look something like this. Just like that. Okay, and then we're gonna turn it all the way over here, and that should still be timed. So it looks something like this. Okay, there we go. So now we're gonna add our velocity to the clip. Here, we're going to find right where the beat jump is, right there. Okay, so just like how we added it before, we're going to click insert envelope, velocity. Okay, what you're going to do is you're going to put a dot right here, dot right here, dot right here. Pretty simple. Do it with all your clips. And then you move this to middle dot 200%, and then you're going to go you're gonna go 1, 2, 3, 4 frames over. We're going to do that, 50%. Go back to the middle dot, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Grab the back dot. Move it to normal velocity. So it should be kind of, it's gonna be laggy. It should look awesome. Like that. So now you don't want it to stay slow. So you need to click this, make sure it's 50%, click another one right next to it, make it normal. So it goes back to the normal velocity. Okay, so then for the clips, like how you want the effects to look. You're going to slice it right where the middle dot is, just like that. Then you're going to come over to Video VFX. And usually I add something called Color. Wait for it to load. It's Color Corrector. It's not BCC Color Corrector. It's just regular Color Corrector. And you're going to use blue highlights. I'll show you in a second. Corrector. Here it is. You're going to use blue midtones. You're going to drag this onto your second clip where you sliced it. And it, what you're going to do is you're going to click this little timer button. And you're going to drag your little, what do you call it? Arrow all the way over to 130, which should be right there. Make this zero. And then just so you have more of an effect, you go to one and you make it five. And that should look something like this. Just like that. And then you also can add that shake. Or S Shake, it's a Sapphire plugin. So I use God Shake settings. I can show you them in a second. Here you go. Just copy these. 
right here. Here's all my settings. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. So, just like what we did with the last one, you're going to go to Amplitude. And you're going to click on this. And you're going to go all the way to where the end would be, which I'm going to put like right about here. Just go all the way to the end. And just turn it to zero. Now, something you have to do is to make sure you cut this clip off. See if that looks good. We're gonna come back to FX, VFX, whatever you want to call it. We're gonna go here. We're gonna move this to the end again, but we're gonna make a zero then. Just because I haven't cut it down. Okay, so you should be done with FX. Now, something I like adding sometimes is glint or glow. You can use either one. Usually, I use glint, just S glint or sapphire glint. Here it is. I'll show you my settings. This is a little bit too bright, so I wouldn't put it that bright, but just put it like a little bit bright, like maybe 200, 204, that's good. Do the same thing where you click the little timer, move it all the way to the end, turn it to zero. That should look like this. And now I can show you guys how to do the LMGK transition. To do the transition, uh, you're gonna come over here. You're gonna find right where you want it to stop. So usually when you have a full body with the character like right here You're going to slice this Slice it move it up one layer just like that Oh no, the displacement map will be on there. So just keep it at the same layer. It doesn't matter You're gonna control you You can take out the audio keep it right there. You don't really need to move it up so you're going to right click it, right where the velocity is. And you, what you want to do is you want to turn down the velocity to zero. If I can get it to work. Velocity zero. So as you see, it should freeze, like freeze frame. See it? So you want to remove all your effects because you don't need your effects on here. Just like that. I'll keep it on, I'll keep them on, I'll keep them on. Just so that it's better. Um, now we're going to crop it. Now, to crop, you need to go into your little crop button, click mask, hold shift, and you can just, wait, open a mask, just like this. Make sure you're on the pointer. And if you hold control, you can just select the things all around this. And I'll be back when I'm done with this. Okay, so I finished cropping it. Uh, so it should look something like this. Let me show you. It's not that good of a crop, but you guys can do better. But, yeah. So, now we're going to go get our second clip, which should be in here. Project Media, here's our second clip. Uh, we're going to find the pump again. Do the exact same thing that we did last time. I'll show you it again. But we're going to find right where the clip is, or where the pump is. Should be I'm just looking right before the little red dots show up. There you go. Bam. Okay, so we're gonna put it on the beach up wherever we want. Say we want this to go. Let's put let's put it this on the beat. So we're fine right where this beat is. There you go. Right here is going to be our shot. Bam. We're going to move this back. We're going to find right where we're going to start it. There you go. That's good enough. So, this is kind of complicated, so you have to listen closely. But what you're going to do is you're going to find right where you want to put it. So, right here, we're going to slice this, and we're going to, it's kind of complicated. But what you want to do is you're going to want to bring it up, and then you can delete the audio for it first. 
There we go, delete the audio. And then you're gonna move it over here to the where the clip is. You're gonna move it back. You're going to add velocity to it. And you're gonna set this velocity like we did last time to zero. So what that should do now is it should time it right over each tree. See? Okay, so next what we're gonna wanna do is find right where we want the start, so There, we're gonna bring this to there. Okay, I think I kind of messed it up. I can fix it though. Oh, yeah, it's because I faded in. Oops. Okay, so it should be good now. Yeah, it's good. So we're gonna come over here. I want to start right here. There you go. Okay, so now obviously you want to add the background. And we have to crop this one out too. So I'll be back when I'm done cropping this one out too. Okay, guys. So I just finished bringing it out i'm sorry if there's yellow lines or something or if there's like a health bar or like builds or whatever in the character it doesn't really matter you don't have to go to a new frame it doesn't look that bad so it looks it should look like this okay so we're done with the lmg edit all we need to do now is grab our dust grunge i will put this in the description for you guys we're gonna do control U because you do not need the audio. Going to delete this audio track I made and we're gonna bring it here. Sorry about that guys. I don't know what happened, my bad. Here, so like I said, we're gonna grab the text right here. Not the text, but the dust grunge. And we're gonna bring it, it's good enough right here. We, but we don't want it over the characters. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a video track right here. Insert video track just like that. We can move these up. And move this into the where the clips would be. Looks should look something like this. And for some people, they really like having it like the music turn like the odd turn down whatever you want to call it so we're going to do that we're going to find the edges of this clip so then we're going to go in here we're going to add something called a resonant filter if it let me hold up guys i need to find add invent vfx it's not letting me that's all good we'll have to add that now But now we just gotta do the last clip. Which should be very, very easy since we already did the other one. So we're gonna find right where the clip is. There you go. The clip should be right here. Now you find it. We're gonna do the same thing when we were trying to slice it. Where is it? Right. Right there. Now, just like we did last time, do this with all your montages or clips. Velocity, a point, a point, a point. This middle one, the 200. Go over one, two, three, four. And then we're going to bring this one over here. 50%. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm trying to make this fast for you guys, but it's going to be a long video. Normal. Sorry for the time. And then we're gonna bring this, bam bam, normal velocity, and slice the video. And I think that should be pretty good. There we go, bring that right there. 
Now, just like we did with the last one, we're going to slice this. We're going to go to Video VFX. We're going to type in color. You're going to go find our color corrector. Color corrector. Blue midtones. Bam. Add. Go to the end. And we're going to make this into point. Did I put it on the right, right thing? Yeah, I did. Okay, I'm good. Maybe we can make this a little bit longer. We're going to open up our VFX again. There we go. Bring this to the end. Make it zero, just like we did last time. Just like that. There we go. Should look this. There we go. We're going to add shake. We're not going to add glint to it this time. Usually I do one, that for one time. I already showed you guys my shake settings. That should be good. And now we just need to do the outro. So what we're going to do is we're going to go grab a clip. Or you could just grab your desk grunge again, which should be pretty easy. Grab it, duplicate it, put it over here. And then where's our legacy text? Here it is. Legacy text. Bring that right above it. There we go. It's going to be thanks for watching. You can put your socials at the end. You could put whatever you want. Now, we're going to go get our displacement map, which should be back here somewhere right there. Copy that. Put it right there. And then make sure we put this right above where we want it to be. So right there. Come over here. Bam, bam. And then the ending should be right here. Bring our displacement map over there. So that should look good. Oh. Gotta make sure we bring this one up too. Okay, we're gonna slice this, delete it, bring it out a little bit, fade it down, do the same thing with this, bring it out, fade it, bring it out, fade it. This just makes it look a little bit better. Fade out eventually. We're gonna put it right there. There we go. So we pretty much have our full montage done. Now we just need to add our HSL adjust, our, our, our RSMB, all that stuff. So I'll show you how to do that right now. So you're going to come in here. And you have to go download RSMB first, but you're going to get your RSMB. Uh, wait for this to load. Usually it lags out. Don't worry about it. So I'm going to save this because if that just crashed, this whole entire video is going to waste. Um, if you're using when it got Sony Vegas 16 or 17, usually it crashes 17 more than 16. And so you have to be very, very, very careful. What is this song called? Sprato, I think. No, it's got magic. So make sure you guys save your files. So we're gonna grab our, we're gonna click D once, D once, D twice. Do we get this little square thing? Do not highlight your replay files. Okay, you only want to highlight your, what do you call it, your clips. So we have our clips right here. We're going to highlight them, add the RSMB on there. Here's my RSMB settings, copy those. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing with our clips. Do not do it for the end or anything, just only your clips. Bring that in, there we go. So now we should have RSMB. Like we have our RSMB. Uh, and then now we just need our HSL adjust. I only use a little bit of HSL adjust, CC saturation, but you guys can add more. Now, for this, you can just highlight the whole entire montage. Like, you don't have to worry about it. Highlight the whole entire montage, add CC, CC saturation, whatever you want to name it. And, yeah, this is what you add. HSL adjust. Here's my settings. Copy those. Should make your montage look really good. And then, did I forget anything? I think that's it, guys. And then you just have to render it. And I can show you my rendering settings. They're not the best, but they work. Here, you're going to click render as. 
wait for this to load. Then you click MP4 or whichever one, doesn't really matter. Let me go grab my settings. Here it is, custom clean render, customize. You're gonna go best quality, 24, 24. You guys copy all these. Frames, blah, blah, blah. Audio. Don't mess with audio settings. Don't mess with this. Uh, best project settings. There you go. And that's it, guys. Peace.